All right. My marketing project is the Senior Center in Ash County's Valentine's Day party. Our background and target audience is our Valentine's Day party is our largest event of the year typically, and it's an annual event. Our target audience to attend the party was the seniors who come to the Senior Center and to fund the party, local businesses and corporations. So our objectives were to inform the Senior Center clients about the Valentine's Day party through flyers, newsletters, and word of mouth. Second, to identify places for donation requests. Third, to obtain monetary or food donations from local businesses or corporations. Four, to obtain monetary or food donations from staff and volunteers. Fifth, to evaluate prices of the three main grocery stores, Walmart, Ingles, and Food Lion, in order to find the best place to purchase food items for the party because we knew that um, the donations would probably not cover the entire expense. And then lastly, and most importantly, is for the clients of the Senior Center to have a wonderful time. So advertising for the party was, we have a monthly newsletter in that um, the party was put on the calendar for that, word of mouth, um, as people walk into the Senior Center, and they talk to the people at the front desk. They say, oh, you want to come to the Valentine's Day party? And then the biggest one were signs posted around the Senior Center, and, and especially at the front desk. So this picture on the right is the flyer we used. Our volunteer coordinator slash um, the director's assistant who mans the front desk um, created this for the party. And then donations. We started seeking donations in January pretty early on. So we asked Walmart, Food Lion, Dollar General, Ash County Cheese, Smoky Mountain Barbecue, McDonald's, and Subway. Subway, we reached out to them. And by we, I mean me. We, I reached out to them a little bit too late. I didn't think of them till a bit later. And it was too late to try and get a donation from them. So Subway is a place that would possibly donate for the next year. Um, but they would just have to go earlier than uh, February. So Food Lion didn't donate to us. So all the ones in bold donated. Food Lion Dollar General did not donate. Food Lion because something got lost in the communication. So to get a donation from Food Lion, you have to have a letterhead with your request, the amount you want, the items you want, in your tax ID signed and everything like that. And you have to personally hand it to a manager at Food Lion. And so I did that. I handed it down to the assistant manager. The assistant manager um, was supposed to get that in touch with the manager to process our request. And we um, put in our put in our request um, sometime middle of January. And I called them back around the 1st of February because that's when I knew that um, they would have most likely read my application for the donation. And um, I called the manager and he, had, he didn't see that we had asked for this donation. Um, I got in touch with the assistant manager that I talked to and she said that she had put it on the manager's desk. But since his desk is very messy, that he didn't see it. And when I talked to him, he was like, I'm sorry, I didn't see it. We already gave all of our money for donations away. So they most likely would have donated, but because of that miss that miss in communication, um, we missed out on a donation from them. And then Dollar General does not, uh, um, rather Dollar General only gives donations to school events. And then we also looked at other places um, previously. So places like CVS, Rite Aid, Dr. Pepper uh, were all identified last year as places that you could possibly get donations from, but either had specific things to donate to. So like CVS only donates to countywide events. So Senior Center, Valentine's Day Party wouldn't apply. And then Dr. Pepper has too many hoops you have to jump through to, to get a donation. So at the end of the day, it's not necessarily worth trying to jump through all those hoops. So the ones we did receive were Walmart, Ash County Cheese, Smoky Mountain Barbecue, and McDonald's. And you can see there the amounts that we got. And I made sure to ask Ash County Cheese, Smoky Mountain Barbecue, and McDonald's for those retail values. And so our total um, donation retail value is about $149, which is really significant and then donations part two was 
asking the staff and volunteers to donate some stuff. And so Linda Luther, the senior center director, sent out an email to the people with and employees within the senior center and Ash County Services as a whole, or sorry, Ash County Services for Aging as a whole. The senior center is a separate part of that organization. And we got one paper ream box worth of candy. I know it's a little bit confusing, but if you can picture one of those big boxes that paper comes in and then you you just fill that right up with bags of candy. That's how much candy was in there. And so estimated worth was fifty to seventy dollars. So our menu was chips, both plain and barbecue, ranch dip, which we were gonna make out of ranch packets, like the seasoning packets and sour cream, cheese trays, veggie trays, which would have, you know, your standard um, ingredients, fruit trays, and then the cheese trays, veggie trays, and fruit trays were all, we weren't gonna go out and buy a pre-made one. We were gonna um, just buy the stuff to make it and then set it up ourselves as a um, cost-saving measure. Cream puffs and eclairs in the frozen section, they can come in a, like a little uh, a box of like 36, so they weren't too expensive. Cookies, cupcakes, they have the stars there because those were not on the, the menu that I had created, and they were like mini cupcakes, so they're really only a little bit bigger than a quarter in diameter. They're very small. Nuts, sweet pickles, deli spirals, so like the little pinwheels that you can also get in the frozen section, and then the candy which was provided by the volunteers and staff. Tea, both sweet and unsweet. Water, of course. And then punch, we came up with a recipe for a sherbet fruit punch and Sprite mix, which sounded really good when I was perusing recipes. So the price evaluation, so I mentioned earlier that I price checked all the items at three different stores, Walmart, Ingalls, Food Lion, which was extensive, like, there was a week where I was just walking around grocery stores with my, with my clipboard and a pencil and definitely some of the workers in the stores were like, what is this girl doing? Um, but anyways, we found that Walmart had the cheapest prices overall. Ingles was cheapest for strawberries only. So a quart of strawberries at Ingles is $5. Whereas at Walmart, they were at least five forty nine dollars at Food Lion. I think they were the most expensive at like five ninety four or something like that. Overall, Ingles was the most expensive. Food Lion was a good middle ground um, between Walmart and Ingles, generally pretty comparable. And then um, it was cheapest for grapes, pineapple, and the drinks. So timeline, we started our advertising in January. We called our donors. Um, we set the menu. I started to price check in February. And we continued to call potential donors, following up with them. Um, I, we picked up the food, we purchased the food, um, picked up, purchased the food, picked up the donations. The dining room was decorated over the course of, um, starting February 1st, Rose and Stella, the two cleaning ladies, um, gradually decorated the dining room. Um, and they did a really great job and you'll see pictures. Also, we had our party. And then lastly, the day after the party, I made an effort to write a hand, um, handwritten thank you card to each of our donors. And then Terry, the volunteer coordinator, mailed them out. So party, so on the right here is our dining room. You can see it's very festive. It's a little bit dark because I took all these pictures um, while we were still setting up. Um, so that's why it's a little bit dark. But they did a, a great job, and all of these decorations were already on hand. The senior center definitely does a good job of like keeping their decorations um, very well maintained, so they don't have to keep buying stuff. And then that's some of our food. They're the chips, grapes, strawberries. This over here on the right is our banana pudding from Smoky Mountain Barbecue, and they did a really, um, really wonderful job. Some of the cookies down there on the left bottom. The deli spirals in the second picture on the left. And then our right here on the bottom right is a homemade veggie tray. Oh, um, that just made me think of something. So we, going back to donations, I forgot that we also asked Ingles to donate to us. And Ingles donated four bags of chips. They donated two party-sized bags of plain, two party-sized bags of sour, of barbecue and a fruit tray. So I did forget to um, 
include angles on my PowerPoint, but the value of um, those donations is reflected in this donation retail value right here. And Ingalls is um, a really good place to work with. They're very um, well receiving of asking for a, us asking for a donation. And then some more of our food. Here's another veggie tray, a little bit more organized than the first one. The nuts. These are little cupcakes I was talking about. They kind of look bigger than they actually were on that picture, but they were very small. And then the pickles on the top left. So attendance. We had lower numbers than usual. We were anticipating the, um, the amount to be somewhere between 130 and 150, and this is, those numbers are based on historical data. And then um, what we actually got was 80 to 100 people. We don't have an exact number because people showed up late, left early, so there's just kind of like people filtering in and out, so it's hard to get an exact number. Um, but we did receive at least like 60 some surveys back and not everyone uh, got a survey, you know, just because filtering in and out. And then I think part of the reason why it was not very well attended is February 14th in Ash County was not the most beautiful day. It was really wet and rainy. It was, it wasn't like very cold, but it, it was still chilly. So like that might've contributed to the lower number. Um, you just, we don't, we don't know. So customer satisfaction, we had a Saxon satisfaction survey considering the senior center as a whole and their operations as a whole. And, and then we included a question about the food. And then we found very positive findings on the survey. Not anyone had a bad thing to say. And honestly, I agree with that. Our senior center does a really wonderful job of providing services, classes, and um, events for the seniors. There were a lot of smiling faces, laughter, and just overall good vibes. Everyone seemed like they were having a really good time. And then bingo was the main event that was played. And so everyone who played bingo got a prize in addition to getting some really good party food. So food issues. Um, we bought food for 150 people minimum. And again, only 80 to 100 showed. So we had significant leftovers. And you can see here, grapes, dice spirals, eclairs, cream puffs, cheese. I, we also had cheese cubes um, that were left over, Hawaiian punch, fruit, pay, fruit punch concentrate, the veggies from the veggie trays, and four gallons of, out of the nine gallons of tea left over. And then we also had an issue with incorrect buying, so I had to go out that day to buy um, two more eight ounce sour cream containers because Terry the volunteer coordinator who purchased the food um, misread the grocery list and only bought two small containers instead of buying two large containers. So we had to go buy two more small containers to make the needed amount of dip. And then also instead of buying sherbet, she brought um, fruit punch concentrate. So we didn't get to use uh, the, that recipe. We just ended up doing the fruit punch and Sprite together. And then, when I was first pulling out the fruit punch, not realizing it wasn't sherbet, um, I was like, oh, what is this? And I ended up just cutting a third of it into ice cubes and just kind of like putting those in the punch bowl um, as, a, as, a way to, as a way to use it. And then also um, with my price matching, not everything that I pulled as like, this is the most cost effective was used. So we ended up buying cheese at Ingalls and Ingalls was the most expensive place for cheese, even though I had put like buy cheese at uh, Walmart and buy these items at Food Lion. We didn't buy anything at Food Lion, um, which I do under, in terms of the location, Ingalls is right next to the senior center. Walmart is with like five minutes away and Food Lion's about 10. So Food Lion is farther out, um, but still, why not, if you weren't going to go to Food Lion, why not just buy everything at Walmart? Because Ingalls, I, Ingalls was documented and fact-checked to be more expensive. So that was a little frustrating because I'd put in all that work. But anyways, it went over really well. And it was um, overall a really fun event. And I enjoyed working on the project and got some good experience asking for donations. And that was definitely the trickiest part, learning how to like, call people and what different organizations needed in order to 
um, process donations because Walmart and Foodline required you to go in to the store personally, hand out a um, letterhead. Dollar General wanted you to send a fax or an email with a letterhead statement and your tax ID. And then other places like Ingalls or Smoky Mountain Barbecue and Ash County Cheese and even McDonald's, like I just called them up and um, was like, hey, would you like to donate? This is what we're looking for. And I also learned that when you're asking for donations, it's better to be specific about you what you want. And I actually got this feedback from the owners at McDonald's. They really appreciated when I was like, we are looking for nine gallons of tea because she said she'd had people who um, called him and be like, hey, we would like a donation from Walmart or sorry, McDonald's. Uh, we'll take whatever you can give us. And then that leaves the potential donor being like, well, what do you want? What do you need? I don't know. Um, so I did get some good feedbacks um, on saying that they liked the specificity. In any case, that's my presentation. Thank you guys for listening.